Hi everybody, I'm Danny. And I'm Keenan, and this is the newest tripod on the market. We're gonna review it. What's it gonna look like? We're gonna talk about it. What are we even gonna say? Let's get into it. Well, this case is familiar. This is very familiar. We are very familiar with Benro. We yeah. have lots of Benro stuff. We found out about this before uh, quite a few people because we were trying to buy the old models of the BBX Cinema Series because we needed another one. And it was discontinued. It was done. They said, we have no more anywhere. We said, well, what's Why? the deal? Why? How's that possible? And they said, there's another one coming out. And we said, can we have it? And they said, it's gonna be a while. And we said, okay, we'll be patient. And we waited a while. So now we have it and we are very excited about this because we have loved the other Benro tripods that we have. Uh, let's bust it out of the case. We'll show you what we're working with. Ooh, one friend there. This is the Benro BVX18. It touts a 39.6 load capacity. They have updated the pan and tilt dampening, steps to the counterbalance. We've got a new sliding quick release camera plate and a super durable carbon fiber construction. Previously, Benro had two tripods in their cinema line, the BVX-16 and the BVX-25 at two different weight capacities. They decided to put one uh, relatively in the middle that would handle most everybody's needs. Ideal for teleprompter, ideal for uh, camera rigs with big, big lenses. That's what their cinema series is all about. And at 40 pounds, that's a pretty serious camera package mm -hmm. uh, that you're putting on it. And let's jump into everything that we get in the bag first. We get replacement feet. We get tools to tighten all things on the tripod. Tool. There's a little zipper in this bag as well. This is a medium height spreader. Clicks right in there. One handle, and then another handle, another handle. if you're feeling so inclined. Keenan, cool. guess what this is? Love handles. Instead of the blue that is on a lot of the Benro stuff, they move to a, a really, really sleek silver. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Threefold ASMR. Is it working? Do we have thousands of subscribers? Are you getting the tingles? A minimum height of, of 25 inches. Not fitting on the table. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then a maximum height of 68 inches. 68? It says 66.5. Oh, see, right here. No, the old one is 71. You're right. You were right. Between 66 and a half and uh, 68.1. Depends on which website you read. The best way we can kind of show you guys this, we want to do a comparison of the old BVX 25 that we do have that has been an absolute workhorse for us. And uh, let's show you what we're working with. This is basically like the new iPhone model, you know? I can already tell it is heavier. Bring the new case over. In no way, shape, or form has the case been updated. And it didn't need to be. The only difference being <laughs> this handle is much more worn. There we go. Perfect. This is the Benro BVX 25. Obviously much bigger. This has a 40 pound weight capacity. This has a 50 pound weight capacity. It almost like doubles in size. So this is 17-ish pounds when carrying it. This is 23-ish pounds. Five pounds makes a big difference. All of it probably right in that gigantic head at the top. Actually, yeah, and that's probably why this feels so much easier to carry. It's not top heavy. It's not going ooh, yep. ooh, when you're carrying it around the case. Let's give you a side-by-side -side comparison. What changed, what didn't. Upgrades, downgrades, feet. The feet did not change. Identical, look at that. Including the ground spreader, everything is the same up until the fastener up here. Flip lock feet that pop in and out right here and your spiked legs. These fasteners are the same too. Kick down fasteners, which is what they designed them so that you could just kick it with your foot. Good old Ka -chow. flip lock. How they connected it is different this time. Mm -hmm. Instead of a single point connection, which reaches to a single point in the middle, there's two little U-hooks uh, and then four connectors in the back. It must be stronger. It has to be. Since it's a fusion of the 16 and the 25, yep. they went back to the 16's leg construction. They did not opt for the telescopic four leg system. Obviously there's still three steps. Three stages, three yeah. Three stages. I think it's cool that they went back. And the legs are different sizes too. 19 millimeters 
and a 25 in the middle. These clips stayed exactly the same, so when you lift it up, you can hold it together and it stays together. That's a great feature we've used until we lost them. You know, it'd be great if there was like a permanent solution, but then that permanent solution would be permanently in the way. I'm not sure I have a better alternative for them at this point, so. Daddy Benro will think of something one day. She exclusively calls him Daddy Benro. Sometimes I want to see the data. Sometimes I want to see the test center. Like, did they drop this off a building? I want to see the test footage. Moving all the way up to the top at the head, uh, many things stayed the same. Uh, we have our light, uh, our lighted uh, ball level. Bubble the illuminated lever. bubble leveler. The illuminated bubble leveler that uh, this one has a dead battery on, so we're sorry about that. We don't have a... We cannot compare. But who can compare who to could? the BBX 18 age? One thing that delighted me right off the bat, as Caleb would say, rather than a four millimeter gauge, they, uh, it's a three. Which is T25. Which is T25 standard, guys, they went Ikea. They kept the uh, standard three ace on the, uh, on the side. They didn't get rid of that, which is great for mounting things to the, uh, to the tripod base if you need to. If like you monitors or yeah. something. In the back, we have a, a few changes. Uh, we have an eight step counterbalance here and a 16 step counterbalance on the BVX25. So the BVX25 definitely gave you a lot more ability to fine tune that counterbalance. You know, as you go down in weight with a 40 pound one, you know, you can probably get away with it with uh, eight steps of counterbalance. I can't imagine most people are gonna need to fine tune with 16 steps of counterbalance. I don't think so. It's, it's, the, it's the same exact scale divided up into different sections. It's like saying a speaker can go to 11, it's fine. It's true. <laughs> uh, right here, uh, silver, that's for the plate moving back and forth. Beautiful. In this one, they went for red, which was always strange because uh, uh, all the other aluminum things like this handle or this little knob and then this one were black. And then they had one random red one, which was always an interesting design choice. It has got a 90 degree vertical tilt, and I think something like 78 degree lateral tilt. Not quite, cause you know. Handles and stuff, you can go, you can go a little farther. Same rosette. Even if you're not gonna use both, uh, it's nice that you can switch sides. You don't have to just, you're not stuck to one side. We always keep it on the right side because otherwise you do obstruct your uh, your locking right here. This is sticky like a childhood bike. Yeah, it and is. That is nice. Like a like a fresh Ooh. basketball. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I'll leave you two alone. <laughs> Same quick plate at the top. We just yeah. have our own quick plate on top of the quick plate. Nice. Obviously, why not make it more complicated? That's, our, that's a threefold way. The stage is smaller. It is smaller, so instead like of 110, we have 80. Millimeters. But with a lower weight limit, you're probably gonna have a shorter camera going on this to begin with. Keenan, how much does this little gal cost? This little gal costs $2,995, so 3,000 buckaroos. Boop, so boop, it's, boop. A big, it's a big price tag, but when you look at comparable tripods in this weight range and in the payload capacity and, and what they are actually capable of doing, it is very reasonable and still on the kind of mid to lower end of a, a lot of those tripods. Heavy duty tripods. We got this one here, this one here. And the Benro's about right here. Yeah. So it's a mid-range as far as price, heavy-duty tripod. We've been using Benro tripods pretty much since we started, yeah. nine, eight, nine years ago. Oh. And uh, so as soon as they announced the Cinema Series, we jumped right on that, and we have loved that thing. So we're, we're excited. We love this thing so far, uh, just the uh, little bit of hands-on. I think uh, everybody on our team will probably opt to grab this because yeah. of, it is a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter. And they were trying to take it from us today because we're gear prepping for a shoot tomorrow, and they were trying to take it today, and we said, no, 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 we just, have to do a gear review, please. Need, Shh. We need a little bit more time. Calm down. And they're gonna they're gonna pack it up and take it away. And we're excited to be like the first people that have this thing. Yeah. So thank you, Benro. Thank you, Benro. Uh, we love you. With that. All said, a comprehensive detailed analysis is not probably what you got, but you got some thoughts and opinions on the new BVX25. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out the newest tripod on the market. I'm Keenan. I'm Danny. And this has been Threefold. Stick around to see what's up next on our channel. 
threefold purchased a 7,200 square foot building, transforming an old railroad warehouse into an epic workspace, studio space. It kind of can seem like sunshine and rainbows, and that is not always the case. On another episode of Pimp My Tripod, Keenan's just a small town guy with a Benro 16 looking for an upgrade to impress his woman. <laughs> She's not into tripod. She's not.